Hello, welcome to Stackable, the all-in-one solution to building stunning websites with a WordPress block editor. Nowadays, you must find ways to make sure that your website stands out among the thousands of websites already existing online. How do you bring your site to life and guarantee that you will snatch your visitors' attention? In this video, we will discuss hover states and how to use it in Stackable. What are hover states? Hover states allows you to style your blocks differently when you hover your mouse over them or their parent container. You can style your blocks with more options such as image zoom, filters, and more which could be used when styling hover states. You can also style the parent hovered state where the style will get applied when the parent container is hovered. This feature will allow you to style a container where its contents would also adjust when you hover over the container, creating more eye-catching results if combined with different hover states. How to use hover states When editing your block attributes in the inspector, you may notice a small arrow icon beside the name of some options. Click on that to toggle between the different states of the block. You can toggle between normal, hover, and parent hovered. The hover option is when the mouse is hovered on the specific block. The parent hovered option is when the mouse is hovered on a parent block's container, and it's only available when a parent block has the container background under the style tab turned on. The parent hovered option is useful when you want a container to change its appearance completely when your mouse passes over it. Putting it into practice. You can change the styles of a block when the mouse is hovered on it to achieve different designs. In this example, we are adding shadow effects upon hover on the feature grid block. Just navigate to the style tab where you will see the container borders and shadow tab. Set the shadow or outline option to zero. Click on the cursor icon to see the hover state options. Select hover and adjust the shadow or outline accordingly. Unselect the block and now when you hover your mouse over the block, you will see the shadow effect. Let's see what this looks like in the front end. Adding shadows on hover is a simple way to add some interactive elements to your page. You can also create more stylish options by using image zoom, filters, and more. In this example, we are adding image zoom and image filter upon hover on the card block. Just navigate to the style tab where you will see the image tab. Scroll down to the image filter options and set the filter you want when the block is at its normal state. Click on the cursor icon and select hovered and set the filter you want when the block is hovered. Scroll to the zoom option and repeat the same steps. You can build more complex effects using the parent hovered option and styling nest blocks and combine their different hover states for amazing results. Afterwards, select the column block and navigate to the style tab. Click on the container background panel and click on the hover icon. Select hover and choose the color black. Since our text is black on normal state, and can be seen on hover, let's change the text color to white. To do this, 
Click the hover icon again, but this time, select the parent hover option. Do the same for the text and button blocks. Do this so that when you hover on the parent block, which is the column, the text will be white. Afterwards, to make the effects better, let's set the button block to a different color when you hover specifically over it. Just select the hover option and choose a different color. You can adjust the text color as well. Now if you check, when you hover over the column, the button turns white. Then when you hover over the button itself, it turns pink. And there you have it! These are just a few ways you can make use of Stackable's hover states to make your site more eye-catching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. If you need more information regarding Stackable, feel free to join our Facebook community or visit our website. We'll link them down below.